I think some of you know of Hatooka, the man from Kisei Stable who often wins lower divisions, only to then be sidelined by his famously brittle knees. And some of you may have seen Orno Jaw, renowned for his vice-like claws which can cling to a belt until cows come home and beyond. Well today, these two had a match which summed up Sumo brilliantly. It began with Hatooka winning the tussle for the inside grip, only to be tipped by the outside right and brought to the ring center, whereupon Ornojo seized a frontal left. He thus gained the offensive advantage, prompting Hatooka to drive his left leg forward and bring the knee across. And because he's bigger, that oblique, left-sided defense built around a rock-like shoulder held firm. So firm, in fact, that a minute or so later, even the referee had lost heart, despite shouting for both wrestlers not to. Ornojaw, with head tucked inside, was simply waiting for Hatooka's knee to move so he could shunt from the front. Hatooka was loath to oblige, and even after checking available space to pivot, elected to stay put. Whereupon Judge Minato looked longingly at the timekeeper for an update, and could clearly be seen mouthing Yonpun, or four minutes, the unofficial maximum time allowed for about. Seconds later, the timekeeper signalled four minutes were indeed up, causing Minato to catch the referee's eye and end the match. Go and grab a drink backstage, then return two bouts later, was his gestured instruction to the fighters. So, two other bouts passed, the fighters returned, and Ornojaw seemed inspired by Indiana Jones, the scene in which he's too exhausted to fight the flamboyant swordsman. And Ornojaw thought, blow me if I'm going through all that again, why don't I just... And that single second of mayhem meant we had a regulation bout which was the longest possible, and a rematch which was the shortest possible. Sumo summed up to a T. The wrestler's harmony of balance or lack thereof producing anything from bouts ending in one shove to bouts with no ending in sight. Sumo's two extremes placed side by side by the same men. It has likely happened before, but maybe not to Hadoka, offended at how his love of their grapple was so obviously scorned. <laughs> 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 <laughs>